Did you know that regular hand washing is one of the best ways to remove germs, avoid getting sick, and prevent the spread of infections to others? And there's a day for that. October 15 is Global Hand Washing Day. More about that in this report by Messi Ebopo. The Global Hand Washing Day is meant to create awareness on the importance of hand hygiene in maintaining our safety and health. According to World Health Organization, too many people around the world still lack access to soap and water. A hygiene expert speaks of the significance of the day. So a day like the Global Hand Washing Day is simply, you know, another opportunity for us to, you know, preach and advocate for the importance of hand washing, not just because there's a pandemic and it's one of the protocols to ensure safety for everyone, but just because we are responsible. We, we, we owe it to the next person to ensure safety. We owe it to ourselves as well to protect ourselves because checking, you know, research, one would see that many, many diseases that is contacted in this global world that we're in uh, as a result of the fact that someone somewhere didn't wash their hands. And then it goes from one contact to another contact and another contact. So the Global Hand Washing Day is another opportunity to just encourage us to ensure hand hygiene. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization recommends a hand washing technique of 40 to 60 seconds. The first step requires you wet your hands with water. Apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub hands palm to palm, right palm over left dorsa, with interlaced fingers, vice versa. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Backs of finger to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of left thumb clasped in right palm, vice visa. Rotational rubbing backwards and forward with clasped fingers of right hand in left palm and vice visa. Rinse hands with water. Dry hands thoroughly with a single towel. Your hands are now safe. Use toll to of the faucet. What is the level of compliance with the WHO recommended technique? Proper hand hygiene is the most important thing you can do to prevent the spread of James and protect yourself and others from illnesses. Messi Bopo for Plus TV Africa. Now joining us live is Abyssala Richard Obama, advocate for hygiene, health and safety. Hi, hi, good evening, good evening. Good evening, Abyssala, how are you doing? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good evening, thanks I for joining us. I said very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Great, great. Today is hand washing day. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, more importantly, uh, with the pandemic, how is Nigeria doing with hand washing? Well, um, we can only hope that Nigeria gets better at the process of hand washing. We can only hope that we build more of a culture of hand washing, you know, across every um income level, you know, from the people who we call the uh, low income level, you know, group to um, from the people that we will categorize as low income level to the people that we might categorize as middle income level and to the ones that maybe are above those levels. We just only hope that, you know, we, we keep at the, we keep building the culture. We keep be, being consistent in the process of hand washing. That's what I would say. Okay, uh, in that report, uh, we saw uh, the report you're taking us through the proper way to wash our hands. Uh, without that, I'd have asked yeah. you, I'd have asked you to, to take us through the proper way to wash our hands. Is there anything you want to add? Well, I think the WHO has done a fantastic job of um, encouraging detail and thoroughness in the process. Um, I would say that... Um, the only thing I would um, encourage is that, you know, those who provide us with a hand wash desist from diluting them. Because I can't really understand if, if um, I know, yes, for economic reasons, some people dilute, but I'm not so certain of the effectiveness 
of your hand wash when it's already diluted and it's almost as good as water. So I would say that one thing that we should um, um, stay away from and avoid is undue dilution because you really can't tell the quantity. You don't have like um, a standard to dilute in. So I would say use the hand wash as a tease so that we are sure of um, optimum results in terms of hand washing. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Yeah. What about but, but certain hand wash um, uh, liquids uh, can be so condensed, yeah. can be so condensed that you, you know that. Uh, I, I don't want to advertise for any brand, but if you live in Nigeria, <laughs> you're familiar with certain brands that are so condensed. Yeah. Yes, that are so condensed that you, you can even under running water, you can hardly wash off the soap and the... <laughs> you know, so so what do you what do you do about such such condensed hand washing uh, liquids? Um, without um, castigating any brand, I would say that any brand that is what using would give you the right concentration to wash hands effectively. So, I guess this is um, to say that to you know manufacturers, please. Um, go and you know do more you know work in terms of you know the manufacturing of you know the kind of hand wash that would be considered you know very effective so that consumers are not in any way tempted to dilute and therefore affecting the process of effective hand washing i see so how many how many times a day is ideal to wash our hands? Well, um, the truth of the matter, there's no prescription for an ideal uh, number, of number of times that you wash your hands. You, you wash your hands before you eat, you wash your hands after eating, you wash your hands when you've done anything dirty. Basically, without um, trying to make people paranoid or make people suddenly very, uh, what's the word? Very... Um, Overtly conscious, okay. right. I would say that you should wash your hands every time you've undergone activity that is considered dirty, an activity that you see that is considered um, in infectious, meaning you you can infect someone or yourself in, in the process of engaging in that activity. So please wash your hands when you undergo such activities in a day. Yeah. So, so then how many, how many seconds or minutes... Um, should a hand washing uh, session last? I I would generally would say twenty seconds, but I, I I'm so in love with the WHO's prescription because I am an advocate for hand washing. So I, I guess the more the merrier. So if they say because they are a reputable organization and consider forty to sixty seconds, then I'd say. We, we, we should, you know, do what it takes to ensure our hands are cleaned and clean thoroughly because we are responsible for ourselves and for the next person. Let me, let me put the last two questions uh, together for you. I, I, I say have two questions in mind. Okay, sir. Yes, I was going to ask, right. okay. yes, I was going to say, how can we uh, imbibe, how can we encourage more people to imbibe this culture? And then especially children too, how can we help children uh, cultivate this hygiene? Mm. Very interesting question. And um, for you know the category of people who are now independent, they don't require too much um, repetitions that children would require. I would say that um, it would mean that the government has you know to do more work in trying to sell to them the strengths of hand washing and the strengths as it pertains to their own selves and as it pertains to being responsible for the next person. And perhaps if we have more hand washing centers around and we, you know, put it in people's faces, that would encourage it. And perhaps if we have enforcement, because I have experienced cases as in the movie, and sometimes I would, you know, have a good laugh to my you know with myself that you would see things like no mask, no entry. Yes, the people in the place are not practicing what they're preaching. So it be it would be it would be great if we have ambassadors for hand washing, people that people look up to, people that people that um, young adults and even you know um, 
grown, you know, really elders of the society look up to and would pay attention to. That's for, you know, adults. But with regards to our children, I, you know, I had a burden in 2019 and I, 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 did a, I wrote a book just, you know, trying to illustrate the process of hand hygiene to our children. And so I would say for children, we just need to meet them at the point where we can engage them. And the beautiful thing about children is that once you're able to sell it to them, they buy into it and they become self-acclaimed ambassadors. They would even be the ones telling their parents, mommy, you should wash your hands. Daddy, you should wash your hands. So I would say for children, we go to their schools as well. We, we you know, we create um, cartoons about hand washing. Interesting. We make it exciting. We also encourage their parents who have the duty of care to please or see the example they want to see. Thank you, Abisola. Thank you, Abisola. So we Thank should, you so much, we sir. Should, we should live out the examples we want to say. Thank you very much for coming on the show tonight. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.